Hey guys, this is Adrian with 911 Gadgets. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your pictures from your iPhone to your computer without using iTunes. So what you want to do is you want to look at the links below. If you have a Windows computer, click on the Windows link. If you have a Mac, click on the Mac link. So you're going to install this software. It's called Ease US Mobi Mover. Once you install it, go ahead and launch it. So you're going to see this window that says log in. If you don't already have an account, go ahead and click sign up and it's going to take you to their website. You want to create an account, so first name. You're going to get an email confirmation, so you're going to have to confirm it. Make sure you're using the email you have access to. Hit register now. So a confirmation email will be sent to the specified mailbox. Please activate your account. All right, so here's the activation code box um let me go check my email real quick and input the code where it says activation code paste it hit activate activation is successful so you can exit this out and go back to your ease us mobi mover app or program so now you can log in with that newly created account hit log in So we're logged in now. You can just close this window here. This is just telling you what this program is all about. So close that window. And it says to connect your iDevice. So I'm gonna connect the iPhone that I want the pictures out of. Make sure that use that uh, lightning cable is plugged into your computer. Okay, so you wanna do is select I device to PC and I made a folder in my desktop called XS Max and today's date so you're gonna you can make one yourself too or you can just default it to desktop but um, you click on this little folder here go to desktop and then you select the folder you want the pictures transferred to so here's mine select folder and I'm gonna uncheck these boxes for audio and other. I just want my pictures and video to, to be transferred. So click on transfer. Go ahead and unlock your phone if it's locked because you're gonna need to click trust. So there's that box that says trust. Go ahead and click trust and put your passcode. and hit OK. Okay, so what I think is going on here is maybe that my drive doesn't have enough space. Let me see. Transfer, hit OK. All right, cancel this. Um, I'm gonna make the folder on another drive real quick. So this PC, go to my two terabyte internal drive, create a new folder here. New folder. Okay, there it is. Let's select it and let's see if that was a problem. See now it's showing my D drive instead of my C drive. So hit transfer. Let me see here. Unlock it real quick. Hit OK. And that was the problem guys. My C drive didn't have enough storage in it. So if you experience that problem, make sure you have enough storage. And if you don't, you can free up some space or just use a secondary drive okay so depending on how much data how many photos or videos um it could take an hour or it could take 15 minutes i'm just gonna let it do this i'll just fast forward from here okay guys so once the transfer is completed you will get this screen here that says successful this one transferred 2,848 items. This was a lot, okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead and just hit complete here. And it'll bring you back to the first screen. So we're done with this already. Okay, so let's go back. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. Actually, let's go back to the screen and make sure that the pictures are there. So we're going to go to that drive that I selected. It was my two terabyte internal. And XS Max right here. Open it. Open this. I'm going to right click real quick. And I'll hit properties. So there is 2,848 files, 65 gigabytes worth of stuff. All right, so click on this, picture, album. There's videos, camera roll, Snapchat, WhatsApp. I'm sorry, Snapseed, WhatsApp. Okay, cool, camera roll. Yep, it looks like they're all there. Sweet, so now, well, I verified that they were there when I right clicked here and hit uh, properties. It showed me that there was 2080, 2,800 files with 65 gigabytes worth of storage. So that's why it wasn't letting me do it in my C drive because I only have 60 gigs left on that C drive. So it wouldn't let me, but it'd be nice if Ease US, the company, can add that to their software because otherwise you would be confused just like I was. But I was able to figure it out. Okay, so if you have that issue, make sure you have enough storage on the destination drive. So now that we confirmed that all of the pictures are in fact in our computer, we're going to be able to, so you want to free up space, right? You want to go ahead and delete everything. So you go to photos, okay, photos. And you're going to want to select everything. See, iPhone storage full. So you go and you go select. And I think there's an easier way to select all. Um, but anyways, you can just go through everything and just, let me see if I can. Yeah, there you go. So you just go all the way down. This is going to take a long time. But just hold your finger there, see? Item selected, 65, 70. So you're gonna have to go all the way to 2,800 and something. Once you're done with that, you just hit that trash button and they're gone from your device and you will have more space on your phone. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions. Also, if you wanna learn how to unlock phones go to the website 911gadgets.com forward slash cell phone repair training and download my pdf that i wrote for you guys if you have any questions reach out to me thank you so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe see you next time